and stakeholders at a public hearing organized by the House Committee on Works, Environment, FEMA and Justice are all endorsing the idea of using concrete cement for the construction of roads in a country as against asphalt. And this follows immense debate by stakeholders, which concludes construction companies and the Federal Ministry of Works, FEMA, amongst others. Details in this report. Chairman, Committee on Works set the tone for the discussion as he hinged his argument on the importance of road infrastructure for the economic growth and development of the country. What is even more concerning is that in some ongoing projects, the work on site is not proportional to the funds allocated to them. There is no doubt that we all must come together to chart a new course for our country if we want to ameliorate the sufferings of the masses. That is why the issue of adopting concrete technology for road construction must be subjected to a thought process to ensure value for money. Hence, this public hearing has become a necessity. In their responses, most of the stakeholders seem to endorse concrete, as argued by representatives of the Minister of Works and Director Highways Construction and Rehabilitation, Engineer Adi Damola Kuti. They say, apart from concrete roads being cheaper, it is also durable. In Nigeria today, we have, if I'm permitted to say, we have two companies in Nigeria that supply 80% of bitumen that is being sold to contractors. And number one is Golden Bitumen, seconded by Aska Bitumen, which is also, I mean, ably represented here today. So, I mean, this, our whole notion today is to tell you and assure you that the bitumen that is being circulated in Nigeria is duly certified by NNDPRA and it is in line with the expectation given by the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing. In a related development, the House Committee on FEMA had an interface with the managing director and members of the board. He also emphasized the importance of good roads and the need for FEMA to cover itself in glory. In his response, the managing director called for more sources of funding for the agency to deliver fully on its mandate. Please note that the successful implementation of this 14 legislative agenda and strategic action plan we have, we have a far-reaching benefit for Nigerians. It will lead to improved road infrastructure, enhance transportation connectivity, and facilitate economic growth. Furthermore, the adoption of innovative technologies and practices will increase the efficiency and effectiveness of road maintenance. We believe that there's a lot to learn from, from road agencies from other countries. So to date, we have partnership with the, uh, with the SANRA, which is a South African national road agency. Um, we have an MOU with them on road-related matters. We have uh, uh, a collaboration with the Namibian road authorities. Nam Namibia currently has the best roads in, in Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.